Roger Federer will end his career at next week's Labor Cup. Roger Federer's longtime coach has sparked fear that the Swiss star may not be able to play at the upcoming Labor Cup, where he is set to end his career. The 20-time major champion confirmed that he would be retiring at the tournament next week in an emotional statement, but it appears he is still training to be able to play at his farewell event. Federer announced his retirement following recent reports that he has suffered a setback with his ongoing knee injury. The 41-year-old has not played since Wimbledon last year, undergoing his third knee surgery shortly after, and was set to use the Labor Cup as his comeback before playing the ATP 500 in Basel next month. But after it was reported that he was suffering with water in his knee and racing to be ready for the team competition. The 103-time title winner took to social media to announce that he would instead use the Labor Cup as his farewell, retiring at the tournament he co-founded. And his recent issues could stop him from getting on court at the event as he now races to be ready to play at least one final match. Speaking to Blick, the former world number no. one's longtime coach Severin Luthi admitted that it is not yet definitive that Federer will play a match at the Labor Cup. and he could instead cheer Team Europe on from the sidelines. It's not definitive yet but he trained hard last week and is training again this week, he said. His aim is to play something, whether it's singles or doubles we'll have to see, but his aim is still to play at the Labour Cup, definitely. Luthi also explained how intense Federer's current training schedule was ahead of his last tournament, spending five hours a day on the practice court. We have three hours in the morning trained and in the afternoon another two hours of training, he said. I want to do my job well there. Fans are hoping that Federer and his longtime rival Rafael Nadal will pair up for one final doubles match together at the Ryder Cup-style event.